Listeners, my name is Sissy Stark, and I'm so happy that you're here with me today to do some math games. So we're going to talk about some things that you may have learned in first grade, but then maybe some new things that you can teach your family at home. So we're going to start with my big math tool. So you can stand up while we do these activities, get your brain moving and thinking about everything we're going to do this morning, today. Okay, so I have my big math tool. This is called the Rec and Rec. And you can see this Rec and Rec has lots and lots of beads on it. We also have little Rec and Recs that have these beads on it. Um, they are all help with, they all help us with learning our numbers and counting. So we are going to use the big Rec and Rec today to do some counting on. Okay. So we are going to do happy counting today, and we're going to use the Say 10 way. So you may have learned the Say 10 way in first grade, but let's remember it so that you can also teach your family how to do, use the Say 10 way, which is a good math way on saying our numbers. So we understand our numbers better, and we understand where the each number falls in the place value, which is a big thing we're going to learn in second grade. Okay, so we are going to... All my beads are set. We're going to slide over this first row. And does anyone remember how many are in each row with the Rec and Rec? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So each row has ten beads on it. And if you notice, the first set of beads are red here. And the next set of beads are white. There are five red beads and five white beads so that your brain can easily see the two different groups of beads. So we're going to start with the 10 already over, but then we're going to count on past 10, but we're going to use the math way of doing it, which is the say 10 way. So say it with me and follow along. Say it out loud even if you're at home alone. Let's do this together. So 10, and then we're going to slide over the next beat, which is 10, 1, then 10, Two, ten, three, ten, four, ten, five, ten, six, ten, seven, ten, eight, ten, nine, and ten, ten, ten. Or we can say that it is two tens, right? One, two. We're going to say it, call it two tens. What is this number normally called if you were just counting things normally? In everyday life, we call that 20. But the math way is to call it two tens because we have one, two tens. Okay. So let's play a, another game that you can teach your family and your family can do this with you if you teach them how to give you a thumbs up and thumbs to the side and thumbs down on happy counting. Okay, but we are going to do it the say 10 way again. So when I give you a thumbs up, you're going to go up in our numbers to the side means we pause and stop. And then we're going to go down, we're going to go back, count back backwards in our numbers. All right, so let's practice this together. So I'm going to give you a thumbs up, and we're going to say, we're going to start with 10, and then we're going to keep adding on 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10, 6. Pause. Good job. You can do your pause with me. You can stand up and move your body. Okay, now we're going to go down. So what did we just say? Our last number we just said was 10, 6. So we're going to say 10, 5, 10, 4. Pause. So last number we just said was 10, 4. So now we're going to go up again. What's after 10, 4? 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9. Oh, what comes after 10, 9? What do we call that? Two tens. Awesome work. Okay, so that's a game. You can show your parents how to give you thumbs up sign, pause, 
thumbs down. So see if they, how fast you can go with your parents on playing the happy counting game with your hand signals. Okay, so let's look at some of our numbers on these cards. This helps us understand what, what, how, what the value of each number is. So what do we normally call this? We call it a 10, right? And that's always how we call this because there's no ones in the, in the one place value. It's a zero. Okay, so I'm going to add some ones to my number. So we still have that 10. And we, now we have four ones. So normally we call this in everyday life 14, which we still need to remember how to call that for all everyday life. But sometimes in math, we need to turn our math brain on. So we are going to use the 10, say 10 way, so that we can think about how many tens we have and how many ones we have. So we will call this in the math way 10 four, so that we remember there's 10 here. This is not just a 1, it's a 10 and 4 ones. All right, very good. Let's try another. So normally we call this number 13. You're right. So, but because we are doing it, thinking about it, the math way and the value of each number, we're going to say this is not just a 1, it's a 10, 3. Awesome work. All right, let's try it again. This number, normally we call it a 18, correct. But now in the math way, we're going to call it a 10, 8. So we remember the place value of each of these numbers and how much they are worth because that is a big skill we will be working on a lot in second grade. Okay, so let's move on to larger numbers on the wreck and wreck. Now you don't have one of these at home, but you do have all kinds of little things that you can count at home. You can get out a penny jar and set out all your pennies. You can get some beans out of the kitchen if you ask someone and count out a bunch of beans. Whatever object you have at home, maybe you have a ton of stuffed animals. You can count them the say 10 way so you can practice at home even. Okay, so I'm gonna slide over this first line and that is, who remembers, is 10. Second line is 20, are we call that in the math way? two tens because now we have two sitting in the tens spot so two tens so two tens and we're going to count on from there so now we have two tens so we have two tens one now two tens two two tens three two tens four two tens five two tens six Awesome job on getting that pattern. Okay, so let's just see if you know what this number is, the, the say 10 way. So I'm gonna slide this row, this row, this row, this row, all over. So how many did I slide over? Let's count. One, two, three, four. These are all worth a 10, so I have four 10 slid over. And I'm gonna slide over part of this row. Now, I could count every B, but because the Wreck and Wreck has a group of five set up for us that we can easily see, I already know that this is five, and then I just need to count six, seven. So I pulled over seven beads on this row. But normally, how would I call the, this number? I would normally say one, two, three, four, 47. But the say 10 way, so we can remember the place value and how much each number is worth, how do we call it? One, two, three, four, four tens and seven extra ones. It doesn't make a full 10, so it is four tens, seven. Four tens, seven. So why don't you find things at home to practice counting the state 10 way and practice your place value skills. See you later, friends.